So real quick, I need to mention short tail versus long tail keywords. A short tail keyword is just fewer words. A long tail keyword is more words. So obviously short tail keywords have more volume uh, than longer tail keywords in almost every single instance. So a short tail keyword is typically, you know, one, two, three words. And then a long tail keyword is a variation of those same words, but in a longer sentence. So I'll explain that in case you don't know what that means. But you initially want to set up ad groups and AdWords with short tail keywords. You don't want to start them off with, you know, like a five, six, seven word uh, type of a phrase, even if it's really detailed and you think it's going to be uh, great for conversions. If you do and you saw that your competitors were using that and you think they're, you know, really getting a lot of business from it, well, then make a note of that longer tail keyword and you can make the exception. But typically, you're gonna start ad groups with keywords that are made up of two to four words. So for example, grow tomatoes, build a garden, hydroponic garden, start your own garden. These, all these words are either two, three, or four words. And these are kind of base keywords. Now there can be thousands of variations around these different keywords uh, that we're gonna find and that our ads will be shown to, such as how to build a garden, where to find hydroponic garden plans, you know, start your own garden for under $1,000, all these variations of those keywords. But we need to start with these base keywords, and then we're going to expand from there, and I'm going to show you how to do that um, based on the keywords that are going to have the highest value as well as the volume, but for our overall strategy that I'll get to. But start by compiling what you believe are the best two to four word phrases for your business. Find the base. What I mean by find the base is like hydropon hydroponic garden. That's a solid base keyword. But hydroponic garden parts versus hydroponic garden plans, those both are good base keywords that you would want to separate because they are two completely separate things. Someone's looking to buy parts the other one is just looking for information and plans. So if you can separate separate the keywords by searcher intent, then you definitely will want to do that if you can see that kind of obvious separation. Otherwise, you want to find the base uh, two or three keywords. You don't typically want to use a one keyword uh, base just because that's way too broad. So you typically it's going to be two to four words. That's where you're going to have your starting point keywords that you're going to kick off your ad groups with. And then we're going to kind of shape it and optimize it, um, scale it into more ad groups, and then really fine tune things for the highest possible relevance. And of course, the highest possible conversion rates and ROI, i.e. hopefully profit uh, for each of our efforts, um, for each of our ad campaigns that we do inside of AdWords. So start by compiling this list of the two to four word phrases uh, for your business and try to come up with a list of maybe, you know, 25 of them that you think would be the best, most targeted ones for your business. And by the way, you shouldn't be reinventing the wheel. As I've said, you shouldn't be trying to think of what these are on your own. If you've done your competitive research, like I taught you in the other modules, and you've looked at your competitors, maybe used uh, keyword spire, some of these other keyword tools, you should be able to find many of the keywords that your competitors are already targeting and you should start with those. Always start where you think the action already is before you start being an investigator, trying to figure out and run tests, finding where there's kind of, you know, underserved areas or underexposed areas. There's certainly a lot of money that we can uncover for you in other little hidden keywords and things that your competitors may not be taking advantage of but there's no reason for us not to start with what they have already figured out and use that as a starting point and foundation for AdWords. And then we can expand and do some different things to find kind of the kind of untapped keywords and other areas that could uh, perform and, and could result in positive ROI.